Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Edwards. I'm the Director of Music and Worship. And I want to talk to you today about uh, my tattoo. Um, it's so funny, I've had this, I started it a little over five years ago, and I still get people coming up to me in worship service saying, I didn't realize you had a tattoo. So I thought I would share with you a little bit about the inspiration behind the tattoo and what each different aspect of the tattoo means. Um, I could use this here and show you, but I have some pictures that I can show you as well. So I'm going to share the screen and we're gonna start uh, talking about my very first tattoo. I um, have always, since I can remember, wanted a sleeve. I think they're so cool. And um, it took me 40 years to decide what it was I wanted. So um, when I was in therapy, let me see if I can find this. Therapy is the best thing in the whole wide world. There's my screen. Um, we were talking through, I have a tendency to see everything in black and white. And my therapist gave me a project to go home and do. and uh, he said, I want you to write out the ampersand and I want you to carry that with you. And anytime you come in contact with something that you might see as black or white, or anytime you are in a conversation and the word but comes up, um, I want you to replace that with an and. And uh, um, it has made a world of difference in how I live and how I think um, and how I speak. Um, I remember having a conversation with someone once and they said, I love you, but, and that but cut out the I love you part and didn't really matter what they said after the but because it sliced it off. And had they said, Stephen, I love you and I am having a hard time with this situation or that situation, it would have changed the conversation completely. So. I still look at this tattoo every day, obviously, but every time some, one of those questions comes up or if I need a reminder that uh, life isn't black or white, sometimes there's gray and sometimes there's color. And uh, when I need a new perspective, I can look at this ampersand and I can uh, sometimes gain a new perspective. So that was the first thing I knew that I wanted. And that was the very first thing that was uh, tattooed onto my body. The second thing, and this was one thing I 100% knew I knew, was this elephant. Um, I come from a family of four children, um, all of us musicians. I come, my grandparents were musicians and super cool. But I think of all the people in my family, I related to my grandmother the most. Um, she is crazy and silly and outgoing and um, super, super fun. And she also collected elephants. And when she passed away, I knew that I wanted to have an elephant tattooed on me because of all of the grandkids and my siblings and my cousins included, I'm the only one who really got that outgoing, crazy, fun personality. And so I can look at this and it makes me think of my grandma. And uh, we actually just uh, celebrated the, or not celebrated, but just had the seventh year anniversary of her death this year on July 5th. Um, the next part of the tattoo that I was really interested in is I wanted a symbol of my faith. Um, and I didn't want to go with the stereotypical Christian dove with an olive branch, but I wanted something that represented my beliefs without being too obvious. And so I decided on the bird, and you can see that the bird is colored with these bright and vibrant colors. Orange is my favorite color. And instead of holding an olive branch, it's holding a white daisy. And any of you who know me know I'm a mama's boy and the white daisy is my mom's favorite flower. So this piece here in the tattoo signifies my faith and also has my mom in it. Um, the next part 
um, that I have here is a tree of life. And um, many of you know, I work at a synagogue and the tree of life is very important in their faith, but um, it's also a symbol that represents personal development. And um, as the tree grows, it grows stronger and it's wanting to grow in knowledge. And um, as we move through life, we wanna gain more knowledge and more wisdom. And so the tree of life is something that helps signify that for me. In addition to this, and you can't really see it here, but I'll show you in a second. Um, you can see that the base of the tree, how the roots come out and they come out in these swirly circles. You can see the bottom of the tree, these moving out in swirly circles. And that's to represent sound waves moving out because I'm a musician. I didn't want to get a treble clef or anything like that, but I did want something to represent uh, music and the movement of sound. And so the roots of the tree are moving out in these waves. Um, what you see behind the tree is a mandala. And really a mandala, it just means a circle, but it's also a symbol of creativity and deeper connection with yourself and with God. And um, I love the way that my artist did this. She used pointillism on this mandala and she uses beautiful uh, kind of aqua turquoisey color with it. But this is a sign of creativity. I'm always wanting to expand in creativity as well. And this helps remind me. You can see on this bottom one here, you can see one of those sound waves moving into that creativity. You can see my mom's flower there. And then finally, uh, the last part of the tattoo that I got was this lotus. I've always loved the lotus. And you can see in the middle of this lotus is a compass. Um, the lotus uh, is a symbol of enlightenment and rebirth. And one of the things that I never want to do is become stagnant in who I am as a person. I always want to be growing and willing to change and being willing to be reborn and try new things. And um, that lotus is a great symbol of that. And I love the way she kind of used a watercolor shading in the lotus and she has such a great eye for color. Um, additionally, a lotus can grow in the muddiest and dankest of waters and still be this beautiful flower that floats on top. And I kinda want no matter what situation I am to realize that there can be beauty in it, and that there can be joy in all situations. This Center section here, this thing that looks like a little sun with the sunbeams is actually a compass. And again, you can see that it's orange. And you can see that the compass isn't pointing necessarily to a north, a south, an east, or a west. And I did that on purpose because I wanted this compass to only point to love. So no matter what direction it's pointing in, it's pointing to love. Um, and then to uh, round out the tattoo, you can see these little bursts of color coming out here. And it was when, as we were finishing this tattoo, my artist said, hey, can I just do some little bursts of color? Um, it's kind of around and about the tattoo. And I was like, sure. And it's really fascinating because these bursts of color look exactly like the bursts of color around the logo of Allegretz's, or around Allegretz's logo. I didn't pull up a picture of that and I should have. But um, whenever you see Allegretz's logo, you'll see these little bursts of color all the way around it. It's just super cool. And then finally, here are the finished products. So you can see the full sleeve of the tattoos here. So you can see these sound waves moving out. You can see these bursts of colors, the lotus and the ampersand. My grandma right here in the elephant, my symbol of faith, and my mom, the mandala, and the tree. You can't really see. I guess I don't have my elbow there, but you can see the tree wraps around here, and all these beautiful flowers that she used to fill in. So that's the story of my tattoo, and now you know a little bit more about me. I'm looking forward. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple of these things, and I can't wait to share some other things about me that you might not know. Hope you have a great day. Bye. See, look, sound waves, tree, 
this hurt really bad. Oh, I forgot to talk about the pain of getting a tattoo. Um, but maybe that's another story for another time. It hurts, but it's worth it. <laughs>